Outside of the pandemic, 2020 was also a deadly year for overdoses. Not surprisingly, the pandemic contributed to skyrocketing stress and anxiety levels. In fact, during late June, 40% of U.S. adults reported struggling with mental health or substance abuse. Early data from the CDC shows that 2020 had more overdose deaths than any other year in U.S. history, up 30 percent from 2019. Well, tonight, 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast looks into the issue, what resources are available, and how it's an issue facing employers as workers return. Well, since the pandemic started, advocates worried that the isolation would lead to an increase in substance abuse. Well, new data from the CDC just released this month shows that 2020 saw the largest increase in deaths from overdose. Don't ever think not my kid because it's a lot of people's kids. Monday marks two years since John St. Pierre lost his oldest son, Alex. Alex was just one day shy of his 25th birthday when he died from a drug overdose. You don't realize how much it tears apart families. I mean, a death in the family tears people apart, but this is just on so many levels just just terrorizing and, and you feel like, you know, helpless. Alex's death came as a shock to his family, especially since his battle was largely hidden even from his closest friends. He always put on the face of, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, everything's good, I'm fine, and clearly he wasn't. Alex was one of nearly 2,400 people in Michigan that year alone who died from a drug overdose. But the following year, in the midst of COVID-19 lockdowns, that number saw a dramatic rise. It's the highest death rate we've ever seen in the United States. Uh, and to me, an increase of one death is too many. Linda Davis with Families Against Narcotics says the pandemic not only kept people isolated at home, but also limited in-person treatment services. That combination led to a 16% increase in overdose deaths in Michigan and a 30% increase across the country. We lost 93,000 people last year to overdose deaths. We need to start looking at addiction with the same urgency that we did COVID or any other disease. The pandemic also led to the largest increase in alcohol sales in nearly 20 years. And as employees leave their homes to head back into the workplace, some may be fighting new addiction. But I think it's going to take us years to get back on track now, unfortunately. But in the midst of this crisis comes an effort to fight it. Soon after the pandemic started, Alex's friends and family started the Alex's Saints Foundation, raising awareness and raising funds, which hours before this interview helped place another young adult into a rehab facility. Now Alex is sending saints down from heaven to help these young adults who are going through the same situation. There's no other way to, you know, honor his memory. And that's what we're trying to do with the foundation. Now, if you are a family member are suffering from addiction, there are a number of resources available, including from FAN and from the Alex Saints Foundation. We'll have a link to all of those resources on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting for 7 Action News, I'm Brett Cast. Well, on top of overdose deaths, overdose EMS runs also saw a dramatic rise in Michigan. EMS runs where naloxone was administered were up some 17 percent. That's was just over 12,000 runs statewide. Now, if you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, head to WXYZ.com for access to resources.